Hello, so today we are going to make a homemade uh, lateral canthotomy task trainer. So what you'll need is you'll need a small container with the whole top cut, with the bottom cut out. You'll need a lid, ping pong ball, a base to put your ping pong ball with a one inch diameter and a one inch height. You can use a roll of tape or you can go ahead and buy a pool noodle and also cut it um, in one inch um, heights to do that. 3M transport tape, foam tape that I got from the dollar store. I have a scalpel here, scissors, and then you will need a size 64 rubber band. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and assemble, assemble your, um, your eyeball. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your base here, put it on top, take your ping pong ball, put it on top of that, take your container and go ahead and close it. And so what this simulates is your orbital socket with the eyeball protruding from it. So that's step one. Step two is taking your rubber band and you're going to go ahead and bisect it. Now you want to make sure when you bisect it that you don't surpass, for example, when you put it on your eyeball, uh, you, you don't surpass the edges here or try not to as much as you can. So don't do this step. You don't want to tape it. This is just for showing, for showing you your purpose of cutting it. Just don't cut it too far. So once you've done that, okay, you put a piece of transport tape on 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. And what this does is this simulates your inferior and superior lateral canthus tendons. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build the tissue with our foam tape. Okay, so to make the tissue for your eye, what I did, I took some foam tape, I put it here, I taped it, but I taped it gently so when I pull it off, it doesn't rip on me. So what I've done is I've taped it here and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and make some slots here. So what I've done is I've taken my scalpel and I found the edge of my tendons here where I've made, where they're going to go ahead and cut. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut down here and cut down here. And what I'll end up doing is taking these flaps and just flipping them over. So I've done the same thing. One, two, three, and four. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take uh, where you've outlined your flaps and you're going to go ahead and fold them over and put them to the sticky part. After that, what you're going to do is this is the tricky part because everything is so sticky. You're going to take your rubber band, put this flap through the middle, okay, and make sure that the rubber band is straight. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this over and what it does is it creates the eye, um, the slit in the eyelid. So it'll look like this. So when you open it, this is the first slit, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on this side using this piece of paper, or I'm sorry, this foam tape. Okay, so I've assembled everything. This is what the back looks like, okay? so. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and this is what the front will look like. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tape it to our orbit. So what we'll do is we'll take this and put this diagonally and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll tape the edges and we'll tape it down. Okay, so once I've taped everything down on the sides, okay, what I'll do is I will just add um, some tissue here on the side. So when they cut it, uh, when they do a lateral canthotomy to get to the cantholysis, then they at least they have something to cut. And there you go. So we'll color it in and make it look prettier.